Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 19th and the 20th, the 19th to the 20th. This is for all signs. This reading may not resonate with you, so, you know, if it doesn't, it doesn't. There's, there's no way that every reading is going to be for you, okay? So, we'll see what comes up. This is just a, whatever I pick up on today. The energy, the timing is fluid, okay? These readings have been resonating with me sometimes on the day, sometimes later on. So, we'll see what happens. Let me put that on mute. Mm. Well, somebody may not be feeling loved or not be able to open up to love for fear of disaster or fear of rejection. Somebody is needing to let their guard down, but really scared, really scared to let their guard down. Um, needing to make a decision, and it's a stressful decision. It is a stressful decision when it involves your heart, right? Um, oh, yes, it is. Absolutely. So somebody is, is definitely feeling it, okay, in their feelings today. Today is a day of feeling, and things may seem a little chaotic, a little disorganized, um, a little stressful. So somebody is going through a stressful time trying to decide what is the best route to take. I mean, because this is, this is mind, okay? This is mind. This is heart. So it feels as though there's, and this is like a juggling back and forth, back and forth. So mind versus heart. Things may seem like they're a little upside down in your life at this time. Things may have been turned upside down. Because it's really time to make a decision. It's time to take the mask off. It's time to stop denying the truth. I mean, that's what this is. Somebody has been denying the truth. About what their heart wants. What their heart needs. Their heart is not being fulfilled. Because somebody has to take a step. And they're not taking that step out of fear. Protecting themselves. Protecting myself from perhaps rejection or this be turning out to be a disaster. So I'm, I'm, it's like you're blocking love because you're too afraid to take a step. Shut down. I'm just going to shut down my heart. Complete shutdown. Mm. Yeah, somebody's not taking any action when they should be. So somebody's not taking any action. Forgiveness is needed. Okay, with that judgment card. Forgiveness is needed so that you can... Reopen your heart. There's an opportunity for success. There is. 
but somebody is going to have to take action and they aren't taking action. I don't know what it means when your ear rings, but my ear just started ringing. Now, we have some karma here. Okay, we do. We have some karma. So there's definitely, karma is at work. Okay. There is a, it's like you're being given an opportunity. You are. This is a golden opportunity. It really is. I mean, it's a big golden coin. It's a golden opportunity. To bring balance to your life, to even out things, to do the right thing. This is a golden opportunity to do the right thing. But you're going to have to come clean. You're going to have to come clean about something. Whether it's accepting the truth or speaking the truth and taking the, whatever it is. Somebody, to do the right thing, they're going to have to take that mask off. Plain and simple. And think positive. Think positive about the outcome instead of thinking that it's all doom and gloom. That I won't be accepted. Because this is a card of forgiveness and acceptance. So it feels as though somebody is afraid to take any action because their heart is already sore you know the heart is already sore and now you know there's probably some resent but there is an opportunity to balance this situation out if somebody actually you know thinks positive and doesn't get distracted by Their thoughts, you know, their fears. Anyway, um, now this could be a new approach. Maybe you need to come up with a new approach. Maybe somebody has come up with a new approach to, you know, deal with this karmic situation. To make another offer or make a new offer. I mean, this is this card can be, doesn't have to be. It may not be, but it can be a reconciliation. We we know that it's a reconciliation card, right? So there could be a reconciliation if somebody could, you know, open up their heart. Let go of the fears. There's been a shutdown. There absolutely has been a shutdown. Yeah, somebody has walked away. From something that was emotionally fulfilling. And it looks like the they're heading into the I've walked through that door. I've walked through that door. Into the light. I'm heading towards the light. But closure is still needed. Maybe somebody is headed towards a situation that needs closure because the world card reversed is is closure is still needed. This a cycle hasn't ended yet. And okay, so this is karma and this is lesson. The world card is a lesson has been learned, but this this karmic lesson hasn't been learned yet because somebody is not taking that mask off. Refusing to see the truth 
about somebody walking away. So, you know, this can go many different ways. Somebody is refusing to accept the truth about somebody walking away. And therefore, the lesson, the karmic lesson, hasn't been learned yet. Remember, I said this is forgiveness and acceptance. You have to forgive and accept when somebody walks away. If they've closed off their heart. Come on now. You can't deny that. Somebody's trying to deny. If somebody isn't offering you love. It's time for you to wake up and accept it. I'm sorry. Because all it's doing is bringing chaos and disorder into your life. It's turning your life upside down. And it's time for you to break the chains and, and restore control. Take back your power. Take back your control. This is a card of personal freedom. Reversed. It's about... Release. Release. Being released from denial. And when you release, you receive a golden opportunity. Okay? But this comes after the release. trying to control somebody has been trying to control clinging to control angry because it didn't work out the way that they wanted they've lost their concentration and their focus Hoping for a reconciliation. Hoping for something to be resurrected when it wasn't built on a strong foundation anyway. This is a reading about denial. Again, many of you will click off at this point. The ones of you that are truly in denial will say, I'm not going to watch this because this is not what I want to hear. <laughs> that karmic lesson hasn't been learned you have to walk away and stop putting effort into a partnership that is no more You have to take back your power. It's time to take that next step. Lying to yourself is only going to prolong it. Somebody is only hurting themselves by staying stuck. It's, 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 this emperor reversed, this is, 
somebody, this is a man. Okay, it's a man. The emperor is a man. It's not a woman. It's a man. That, I mean, next to this and this, this man is no longer emotionally invested in any way. In any way. Completely closed off. Hard-hearted. Controlling. Manipulative. Bossy. And you're wasting your time thinking that he's going to come back around, you know, that he's going to change. You're not realizing that it's, it's not practical. It's time to bring some balance back to your life with this card. Right next to the Justice card, okay? It's basically the same. I mean, this is the minor, this is the major, okay? It's time. It's time for you to even things out. Get your life back on track. It's time to face your insecurities and stop playing games with your heart, heart and mind. You're not a victim. This is like a victim mentality, the five of coins it is. You're not a victim here. You're only a victim if you allow it. It's time to take back control. And get your life back on track. It's a time to reevaluate this situation and see it for what it is. It's time for that birth. It's time for that self-love. It's time for that renewal. It's time for you to get what you deserve. But you can't get what you deserve until you deal with the pain. Same story, right? You have to break the chains with denial. You have to break the chains with this person who is still controlling you. This person's in control. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here with love if you have dealt with the pain. If you have decided to put yourself in the driver's seat and get the hell out of this situation. If you have found the strength to master your emotions, deal with the pain, there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment if you have truly walked away from this situation. There's an opportunity. If this is a transformation, if you have allowed this birth, this transformation, there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment if you have walked away. But if you are still stuck, you're not going to get what you, you're not going to be appreciated. You know, you're not going to have the togetherness. You're not going to get the communication. You're not going to get what you deserve. 
if you are still sitting in limbo, resisting this change that is needed. So I feel like the energy is, it's time to go, for real. It's time to take off that mask and be honest with the justice card. I mean, it is. Some of you will deny it. Fine. You will continue to suffer until you do. She is growing resentful day by day by day. Keeping that mask on. Because of pride. If you take that mask off, you feel the pain, allow the rebirth, you will find wish fulfillment and victory and success. But resisting this change and refusing this, to deal with the struggle is not going to give you, it's not going to bring you together with anybody. You have to take the lead. You do. It's time to head out of this situation instead of staying stuck on somebody that has walked away. So I feel like this reading is for people that are single and holding on. I'm going to do another reading for those of you that have released. This is for people that are holding on. This could be for couples that are holding on to a situation that is dead. There is, there is definitely a person here that is closed off emotionally and they're gone. They're gone. But somebody's holding on to the thought that there's going to be a reconciliation and there's not. is what it is right I'm going to do another reading now for those of you that have moved on because I don't know this reading this reading will not resonate with everybody some people have moved on apparently the reading what happens with these readings is they will resonate with the people that need to hear them the most the people that need the most help that's what comes out the people that need the most help so obviously there's a lot of people that need to take back, they need to break the chains with this false foundation that they have been holding on to. They need to feel the pain, accept the pain, forgive, and, and walk away. For real. I'm going to do another one. Talk to you later.